This is how a person could literally create wealth in their life and guarantee they never go broke. Let's say it's a ball player that makes a lot of money, okay? He makes a million dollars extra a year in endorsements. I would take that million dollars in endorsements after taxes and say, hey, every million dollars is gonna buy $3 million worth of real estate. Okay, now the only way this game works He's making a lot of money playing baseball. He's a sharp, he's a short stop. He's one of the best in the world. He's a pitcher, he's one of the best in the world. He knows his arm's gonna go out. We know that he will only last three to five, six, seven, eight years maybe, okay? He'd take that $1 million in endorsement money, he'd buy $3 million worth of real estate, but this is what has to happen, okay? That piece of real estate must take on leverage. Okay, the leverage is $1, I can, bar, I can buy $3 worth of real estate with $1, it has to pay down the debt on the other two dollars, okay, the two dollars. And number three, it would have to cash flow so that I can keep it long enough for it to appreciate and actually have the ultimate wealth effect. I'll give you a perfect example of the property behind me, okay? That property behind me is $92 million. I'm gonna put that number up there. I'm gonna also put up another number here, 405. Can you show, can you show the fund that we, we just filled up? One of these properties in this image, the one behind me is $92.5 million, but I put four of the properties together. Okay, you see these? Four properties, Delray Beach, Sugarland, Texas, uh, Laguna Bay, and Nexus. Back to me. $405 million worth of real estate. I'm gonna give you two examples of the wealth effect on steroids. And we're injecting think into this concept right here. This could be one dollar, one ten dollars, a thousand dollars, a million dollars, ten million dollars, hundred million dollars, it could be a billion dollars. How big can you think? And can you multiply money magically? So this is what we do on this property. $92 million, I put $32.5 million down. I financed $60 million. 32 immediately became, check it out, Johnny boy, three times the money. So I know when I make this investment, it's called the wealth effect, $32 million bought almost $100 million worth of real estate. Now I'm not done here, okay? The $60 million needs to earn about 6% a year for me to feel good about this investment. I'm sorry, the $32 million needs to earn 6% a year. That's one point, uh, let's, let's just round that off. That's $2 million a year, $2 million a year in income for this piece of property, okay? So in 15 years, in 15 years, what do I, what, what did I get my money back? Two million dollars cash flow, 15 years, I pay back this money. I'm 100% paid back. Now what do I own 15 years from now? I own a $92 million piece of property. Also, number two here, okay, number two, this is the first thing. If I hold it long enough and it cash flows, I paid back this money that I put down. Number two, 15 years from now, we, we will be in the year 2034, is that right? Yeah, something like that, 2034. I will have paid the debt down on this. This is our leverage is now being reduced over 15 years. The first five years of this was interest only, and the last 10 years was debt pay down, or you call principal reduction. Okay, on an amortized loan. It's about 2% per year for 10 years. So 20% of this, $12 million, would have been paid down. The second wealth effect. The third one is, in the year 2034, would this piece of property, if it was still filled with tenants, if it had a good location, if it was still cash flowing, would it have a value of at least $92 million? And is there a possibility that it would actually be worth more than $92 million? What do y'all think? Yes. So in 2034, if the rents only increase by... 2% What? 2% a year? That's not even inflation. Okay, I think a more realistic number would be like three, but 
we're in threes today. Three times 15 is 45% more than the rents today. Those rents right there are about 1750. Now 1750 times uh, 1750, this is a wealth effect. 1750 times, what did I put, 45%? 15 times three, yeah, times 45. Uh, that's $787 per month more in rent per unit, okay? Now look, look, I can keep going on and on about this wealth effect. 787, that piece of property. I mean, I, I'm gonna put this whole thing on steroids here in a second when I bundle, when I create a fund of four projects. But 787, 787, this is how you create wealth times, uh, this property's got 400, uh, 456 units times 12 times, oops, 787. Rent, rent got increased over time times, what did I say? Uh, 346, 346 times 12 is $3,267,000. New revenue. Because of rent increases or appreciation that naturally happens over time. So let's see what happened here, okay? I'm gonna get rid of my big package here because I'm gonna freak you out here in a second. Then we're going to move off into the land of billions of dollars, not, not millions, okay? Number one, 92, $32 million was paid down. $32 million, who paid that? The properties paid the $32 million. I put the $32 million in, I got my $32 million back from cash flow, number one. Wealth effect. Number two, what happened? Debt was paid down by $12 million, who paid that down? Renters paid it down. The debt paid it down. Three, I had a rent increase of $3,267,000 times, times, times the number of years that I had that. Now, I don't know how many years. I don't know when I finally got that. Somewhere in this 15-year cycle. Let's say it was just the last four years. Four years, that's another $12 million. Because I wouldn't have got it the whole 15, just to be fair with everybody, right? Okay. Plus, if I want to sell this, and I wouldn't right now, I wouldn't sell it, I would refinance it, but if I was going to sell it, that $3,287,000 divided by 0 0.05 is worth $65 million, okay, $65 million of increased value that a new investor could buy the property from me for, okay. And, and let's see what my total is here. I'm freaking you out right now. I guarantee you people at home watching this right now saying, uh, what, what just happened here? We just got wealthy. This is what they don't teach you in school, okay? Two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? Caught on capital, <laughs> okay? Uh, let's see what we got here. Seven, nine, 11, 11, seven, eight, nine, 121 million, $500,000. That is just the money created from this asset and you can add 92 to that. Because that's what I paid for the property. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I packaged $405 million worth of deals. I think there's 1,766 1700, units here. Okay, just imagine if I get the same lift. Let's say if I do the same thing, 45% times 1750. Uh, 1750 times 45%. $787, yeah, that, that was the number. $787, I'm about to freak myself out. Okay, <laughs> times $1,766, that is $13,907,000. $7, okay, this is the wealth effect, right? 15 years. Would you wait 15 years oh, yeah. to make $280 million? That's what I'm gonna do with that fund. Okay, now look, with all investing, obviously there are risk. I can't promise you any of this stuff's gonna happen, but I believe this, $405 million, we put $213 million down in this fund. I have to have, I actually have to have more, more money than this in the fund, but 213,000, I think that that's gonna pay $12 million in cash flow a year for us to wait and make that happen right there. That's 280 more than the 405.